The Invention of Nature, Alexander von Humboldt's New World is a non-fiction book released in 2015, by the historian Andrea Wolff about the Prussian naturalist, explorer and geographer Alexander von Humboldt. The book follows Humboldt from his early childhood and travels through Europe as a young man to his journey through Latin America and his return to Europe. Wolf makes the case that Humboldt synthesized knowledge from many different fields to form a vision of nature as one interconnected system, that would go on to influence scientists, activists and the public. <laughs> Sections Part 1 Departure, Emerging Ideas Wolf describes Humboldt's childhood with his emotionally distant mother. As a child his interests in nature and travel were not taken seriously. His mother, on whom he was financially dependent, insisted he become a civil servant. As a young man, Humboldt became friends with Goethe and other German intellectuals. His mother's death allowed him the freedom and financial independence needed to journey to the New World. Part 2 Arrival – Collecting Ideas Humboldt arrives in Cuba with his companion Bonpland and begins his journey through Central and South America. He brought with him a plethora of scientific instruments. He chronicles his travels and the measurements he obtained using scientific instruments in his journals. Humboldt climbs the Chimborazo volcano, which was then believed to be highest mountain in the world. The trip concludes with his visit to the United States where he visited the White House to discuss science and politics with Thomas Jefferson before returning to Europe. Part 3 Return, Sorting Ideas Humboldt returns to Europe where he is greeted as a celebrity. He lives as an expat in Paris for a seven months as he finds the city and its scientific culture more stimulating than that of Berlin. While in France, he meets a young Simon Bolivar, who is impressed with Humboldt's knowledge and passion for his home country of Venezuela, and they discuss South American politics. Humboldt returns to Prussia, to earn a salary in the king's court before returning to Paris. At this point he begins to work several manuscripts based on his travels. The books are widely read. As Bolivar begins to plan and execute revolutions in South America, Humboldt publishes a series of books on the politics of Latin America that criticize colonialism. Part 4 New Worlds – Spreading Ideas Wolf discusses Humboldt's personal correspondence and influence on a young Charles Darwin. Darwin attributed the inspiration for his voyage on the Beagle to Humboldt. Humboldt's influence on the American poet and philosopher Henry David Thoreau is explored. Humboldt's magnum opus Cosmos, where he talks of the interconnections of the natural world, is discussed. Topic: Reception. Invention of Nature became a New York Times bestseller. Some critics felt that the book could have covered Humboldt more thoroughly instead of focusing on people he influenced. Others found that the book provided a contemporary Humboldt. In September 2016, the book was awarded the Royal Society Insight Investment Science Book Prize.